plaintiff, Elise Williams, says the defendant is her cousin. And she does not like Elise's fiance, who is with her in court. Elise claims the defendant not only tried to stab her fiance, but she also poured hot water on him. She's suing her for property and rent. Defendant Valencia Lee allowed Elise and her fiance to live with her, but she kicked them out after a disagreement. Valencia claims while moving out, she called the police on Elise's fiance several times because he continually harassed her. So she's countersuing. Start with you. Hi, um, this is my cousin. I've been knowing her all my life. She's always had my back, but she has a problem with my fiance. So bad to the point where she tried to stab him with a knife and pour boiling hot water on him. And do what? Pour boil boiling hot water on him. No grits in it. No, no grits. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me why she dislikes him so much. Uh, we were all staying together and me and my cousin was working an overnight shift. And um, we as in whom? Me and all. my cousin. My fiance and her boyfriend and our children. Okay. We're all staying in the house together, and me and my cousin were working an overnight shift. How many bedrooms? Just curious. Um, it was three bedrooms. No, okay. two. I'm sorry. Everybody hated everybody. <laughs> it's too much stress with all the folks in there. Boy, everybody taking too long in the bathroom. <laughs> get out of the bathroom. I gotta go to work. I gotta go to work too. Well, you should have woke up early and get in there. I gotta be there early than you. I'm nobody care that little job. You ain't making no money on that little job. No way. All that happens, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah. See, huh? everybody hate everybody. Go ahead. We were all staying together, and me and her was working an overnight shift. And um, um, her boyfriend and my fiance uh, went to the store, and she instructed her daughter to lock the doors on them, and she turned the alarm on from her phone. For both of them, her yes. boyfriend as and well. And my fiance, yes. And um, when they came back to get into the house, they couldn't. So my fiance <laughs> pushed in the air conditioner to get into the house. And when he did so, he went to go open the door for her boyfriend, but the alarm went off, and her boyfriend said that he was about to leave. She called her mom and told her mom to come to the house. And well, he had a warrant on him? I don't have no knowledge of him having a warrant or anything like that, but Why he decided to leave. I guess he didn't want to deal My with My house mom. alarm go off. I don't run. <laughs> All right, go ahead. Her mom came. She was real loud and disrespectful to my fiance and asking him why did he break into the house. And I was on the phone with him at the time, but I couldn't hear what he was trying to tell me, and I, he couldn't hear me. So he tried to go outside. Well, he went outside and was on the porch trying to talk to me. Her mother grabbed my three-year-old son at three o'clock in the morning, put my son outside on the porch with no clothes on, no shoes, and said, your son is a backpack, take him where you go. When me and her got off of work the next morning, my fiance ended up coming back and bringing me my son. That's when she started to, um, that's when she had got the knife and tried to stab him and pour the boiling hot water on him. I um, called the police to get to have them escort me in the house to get my things. She told the police that I could not grab any okay, of my things. Okay, we'll get to that because that's the um, <laughs> primary part of your lawsuit. Ma'am, give me some background on all this. This is my cousin, Your Honor. I have been taking care of her since I was 16 years old. I have I moved out of my mom's house at the age of 16. How old are you now? I'm 30. I moved out of my mom's house and she came with me. We moved into my boyfriend's house. I was working. I was taking her back and forth to school. She was going to elementary school. I'm I was looking in high at school. you all are from 36th District Court in Detroit. Detroit, where I sat as a judge. Where where you all live? We lived on Joy Road in Schaefer. You know that's West where I grew up. You did? No, I did not know that. With that area. So you know, he right? Looks like a Herman Gardens colleague. <laughs> <laughs> Negative. Do you ever live up the street at the Herman Garden? No, I never stayed there, but I know a lot about it. <laughs> I grew up in my neighborhood, 10 people in the house. Yeah. <laughs> I have. It's a lot of stress, a lot of boiling water, and a lot of everything <laughs> else hurting each other. Go ahead. I, I took care of her most of my high school adult years growing up. We, she lived in every house that I ever have in my entire life and she has never paid rent. Up until this situation now is when they actually, she came with her boyfriend. He has lived in every house since he's been out of jail as well. This point, this situation right here, it didn't even started with us. It started with her boyfriend buying a car from my friend. I didn't just throw them out my house that night. They, my boyfriend and him left. And yes, I cussed them out because they left. And that was only because they might, they wasn't watching the kids. My daughter opened up the door for a man at one I know you're lying. Men in Herman Gardens don't uh, you know, buy cars. That's the truth. They steal them. <laughs> uh, he, but he did 
didn't buy it, but he did. He brought it. And he was supposed to take the that's car. That's right. You were near the Hermit Gardens. <laughs> you had, that's you had what friends I was, with the Hermit Gardens. Ironically, All that's right. what I was getting out of jail for. Um, yeah, but that's I was what stealing cars. Exactly. Come on, see, people wonder how I know things. But no, he he definitely brought a car for my friend. He came to my house knowing that me and her was at work. He didn't know my kids were there. My kids called him uncle. They let him in the house, and he per- proceeded. Mind you, Your Honor, it's one o'clock in the morning. Yes, I told my eleven-year-old to close the door, and I armed her home with my from my phone because I'm at work. My mother lives around the corner. My mom can get there in two seconds, which she did once he broke into my house. Like, it, we wasn't in a small two-bedroom. I had a three-bedroom finished wow. basement. It was my room, two bathrooms. So my why room do you upstairs. think he broke in the house? He was not allowed to come back inside of the home until my mother got there. That was what was supposed to happen. But he took it upon himself to go inside the home. How about your boyfriend? My boyfriend, he yeah. left. I watched the whole video, because, like, again, I have cameras on my home. You all have it here? Is yes, this... sir. All right, let's see it. I want to see the video of what your boyfriend was doing. <laughs> oh, no, I don't have because that video. Because I want to see how culpable he might be. She says that your boyfriend was there, but he ran. Okay. At least he was there to face whatever consequence it was going to be, meaning he believed he wasn't doing anything wrong. Correct. The one who runs may believe either they've done something wrong Mm -hmm. or it's going to be interpreted by the police as doing something wrong. Exactly. So I understand why... Um, black men run from police. It's a known <laughs> fact that uh, racial profiling occurs and we suffer consequences of Most that. Definitely. So, again, this- I want to see this video. I wish you'd have had the one with your <laughs> no, but I boyfriend do have videos. running. Your boyfriend was running for something. Go okay. ahead. That's Kel, Markel. That's my mama putting the baby out. Well, he, look, he walking around with a nervous walk. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. This is actually when I was on the phone with her. I was telling her about the situation. See I was that? a little heated. Oh, yeah, I know. And you got to stand up when you talk with oh, the yes, judge. Sir. You've been here before. Okay. Well, I've seen your first <laughs> time. No, I forgot. Oh, you don't talking? get sued. You get prosecuted. <laughs> <laughs> your witness wants to say something. You want her to speak? Of course. Come on up. Okay. State reason- your name. Oh, my name is Fair Brown. Go ahead. The reason why a little man got put outside, which is... um their son is because when mama, when Miss Lee was trying to talk to him, he was like, I'm talking to a woman, I'm talking to a woman, and he, she was coming close to him, and he chest bumped her, and it kind of ticked her off a little bit. So you don't want to talk to me? Okay, well, here's your backpack. And that's why she put him outside. All right, so we got all the confrontation out. Yes, now sir. tell me <laughs> the specifics of the property you're suing for and the rent. Um, I, the, she has the um, group home. And in the group home, she had my refrigerator, my stove, my washer, and my dryer, my air conditioner, my deep freezer, my bed, my son's bed, and my son's crib. When you've tried to get it, what has she told you? Um, that she was working, she couldn't do it that day. How Just long has always it been? give me the ring around, a ring around. Um, I've been trying to get my things since um, July 8th. And what about the rent? And um, the rent I paid her in advance because we were working together and we got paid before the month started and I paid her $400 for rent. And then she texted me and told me that I need to pay her for my things being in her home. And she was withholding them? Yes, she was withholding them for me, yes. I have you a text have message, that? yes. All right, let me hear from you, ma'am. Um, she left on, she, obviously after the situation happened, she left. I have text messages as well. Um, she said that she'll just leave, don't worry. I have messages saying, asking her and when she if was... If she left after paying the rent before it was time, she only stayed there eight days, why shouldn't she get her money back? I gave her ample time to come home, just her and her son, or to come get her things, and she did not do it. And the police actually walked her in to come get some of her yeah. stuff, July 7th. The police walked her in, and she got most of the majority of her things out of my home. How did she take them out? She, my boyfriend helped her carry him and, the, and she carried them. She what made. What type of things were they? It was clothes. That's all she has at my house clothes. Now, Is that true? Oh, air, my uh, air conditioner, my deep, see, uh, deep freezer. Let me see your list. So my son's bed, bed, my bed. I guess you couldn't take that out. Has <laughs> yeah. she ever request to come back and get those big items? Deep freezer, beds, crib? Yes, sir. And I tried to give her a date to come because I do work multiple jobs. Mm-hmm. Our schedules never came. We never had a good schedule to, I guess, meet up or whatever. The air conditioner was ruined when he broke it when he came through the window. She would text me. What did you do with it? I put it out once I got the call. I'm come here. Okay. Did you, you put it in where? Outside. Okay. Did you give her notice of that? 
No, it was three months later, almost three months yeah, later. You still have to put notice when you destroy somebody's things. Oh, I didn't destroy them. Well, it's the essence of the same thing. When you put their things out to be destroyed, and we do know that she doesn't have them. Right. So you're liable. Okay, that's yeah, fine. Yeah, okay. I'm thank thank you. <laughs> <laughs> that's fine. All right. Thank you. But that's what just, about the rent? She never asked me for the rent money back until we got to this stage. What has she done to you? Her boyfriend was harassing me. He was coming to my house. The police had to escort him multiple times off my property. How many times did you call the police and they came? At least several times. I have video several of Several as in five, Sad, like seven? Seven, seven eight okay. times. Like, and why? Because he was coming. He was sitting around the house, you know what I'm saying, saying things to me, trying to intimidate me. Right, you got to sue him. Now, what's your uh, lost wages for? Why are you suing her because for Because I'm, I'm missing two days of work. You don't have to. You don't have to come. Oh, <laughs> Judgment well, for the plaintiff, $2,820. <laughs> your claim you. is dismissed. Thank have you, a good day. I'm just so happy that I don't have to deal with her anymore and that I get to get my baby stuff back and all my things back. I just feel like justice was served. Like, the truth speaks for itself. It does.